The Portuguese explorer Magellan left his legacy in the first circumnavigation of planet Earth, our first orbital experience of our home planet. And today, looking forward 500 years from that first voyage, we see the expanse of space, the cosmic ocean that we've since conquered. And today, as we look forward beyond the legacy of Magellan, we can see where we'll go in the next 500 years into that forever frontier. Earth, the ocean planet, the Portuguese explorer Magellan gave us the first orbit of our home planet 500 years ago. Today we see Earth through new eyes, satellite views that show us the Earth's oceans that Magellan experienced himself from space. Little did he know. As he sailed the oceans, we can look forward 500 years to the cosmic oceans that today we sail. Magellan's ships carried him around our Earth at a time when it was unimaginable. Now, his legacy lives on in space through spacecraft named for Magellan, who set sail from the space shuttle 30 years ago to map our, our sister planet Venus in all of its glory, perhaps a former ocean world, as was Earth. The cosmic ocean calls us every night across the Milky Way into the space we now experience through the eyes of the Hubble Space Telescope and beyond. This cosmic ocean is a forever frontier for humanity and it lives on in the record of space exploration. 50 years ago, we explored space from beyond Earth at the moon as the voyages of Project Apollo gave us Earthrise. You see our ocean world from the landscapes and the barren landscapes of our nearest neighbor, the moon, where its seas are frozen in rock. Today, through spacecraft known as the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, we can see the moon up close as if we were there flying over its surface. We can also imagine living with a star, our planet Sun. This Sun drives the energy of our solar system and it shows us what other stars are like. Today we've set sail to get to know the Sun even better through a mission known as the Parker Solar Probe because the Sun's energy drives the circulation of our oceans and our planet. We move on to Venus, our sister world, where the spacecraft Magellan gave us the views that carry our imagination to the cosmic oceans of this world where we believe its oceans were lost in time billions of years ago. And from Venus on to the planet Mars where we ask the tough questions, are we alone? Is this a place we're going? And on Mars, we know the record of water is lurking in the rocks in its climate history, and we look beneath its landscapes into the story of those rocks from the voyages of spacecraft known as Curiosity, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. These spacecraft show us the rockscapes where the record of the oceans and the seas and the lakes of Mars is written in the stones of time. So from Mars, we can see also the record of water in planets like Jupiter, where its beautiful systems of clouds and circulation can be captured with spacecraft through the mind's eyes of humanity. We move on to the beautiful planet known as Saturn, where when we see Earth at the scale of Saturn, we imagine how small we are in that cosmic ocean. And from Saturn, we can look at its largest moon, Titan, where oceans exist, but not of water. Little did Magellan know that these other worlds, ocean worlds, would harbor different kinds of fluids. Today, the ocean universe is dramatic. We see it even at the planet known as Pluto. Now a dwarf world, but still in its landscapes, the magic of what an ocean world might have looked like beyond Earth. And this gives us the views that we can expect of oceanic worlds around other stars, light years away, unseen by humanity, but our visioneering of them, carried by the grand telescopes in space, takes us there, extends our presence, Hubble. And next up is the James Webb Space Telescope, a cosmic voyager like Magellan, Launching in 2021, it'll extend our imagination to those worlds and the bigger cosmic ocean landscapes that we can only see in our mind's eye. And back home to Earth. The Earth that Magellan experienced can be now experienced from space in the same way that Magellan experienced sailing it. From the record of biology on Earth and circulation and energy, we can come home to the Iberian Peninsula 
where Magellan set sail 500 years ago. And today, thanks to Jose Marquez and his team, we commemorate the 500th anniversary of our oceanic exploration that carries us forward today to the exploration of deep space, the forever frontier. Thanks to you, Magellan, we're there. <laughs>